Hey, losers, Trina here? Nope. Neither am I. Hey, who's that? Ugliest woman I've ever seen. Daddy? Rodney. Jackass. Broad's got a mouth on her, doesn't you? Could you give us a moment? I need to have a heart-to-heart -heart with my daughter. Sure. But aren't you going to be one heart short? What's up, Daddy? Oh, it's work, Sugar Bridges. Figured I could talk to you about it. What is it? Well, you do the books down at the car lot. You know what kind of quarter we've had. I guess. We've had worse. Yeah, this is different. People just don't want to buy my cars anymore. They want them fancy ones with all the frills, like airbags and seat belts. <laughs> Things really that bad? I won't have to lay somebody off. You want me to do it for you? I was hoping you'd say that. It sure would take a load off, honey. You know I hate being the bad guy. Yeah, okay, who is it? You. <laughs> what? Hey, it's strictly business, honey. Let's not make it personal. Well, I'm your daughter. What did I just say? <laughs> oh, there's my ride. I got a scoop. That was your car horn. You beeped it from your keychain. <laughs> you sharp as a tack, Trina. You're never gonna have a problem finding another job. What, well, Daddy? <laughs> me. You're kidding. This is serious, you know. We count on that money I bring in. You okay? Well, I'm a little pissed at him. Well, great. Now we just have to turn the kids against him. <laughs> wow. Fired by her own dad, huh? Mm -hmm. How'd Trina take that? Well, she's not talking to him. So we're gonna have less money coming in, but we're also gonna have less Carl coming in. I kind of think we came out on top. <laughs> yeah, I got 600 pounds coming in on Friday. Uh, even better than the last shipment. We're talking West Coast Prime. <laughs> uh, cash only. I don't need the paper trail. Wrong number. <laughs> How's the plumbing business, Plumber Dave? Grass-fed beef has less fat than a skinless chicken thigh. <laughs> Rooster crows at midnight. <laughs> Did I just accidentally buy drugs? <laughs> I can get my hands on some high-quality beef lately. I can get you two sides for a buck fifty a pound. You want in? What's a catch? Oh, there's no catch. You're buying in volume, and I eliminate the middleman. Oh, fellas, these cows have been raised in a valley of gentle, rolling hills. They, they spend their days leisurely dining on Kentucky bluegrass and wild alfalfa. Huh. Well, anything that lives that good deserves to be eaten. Well, that sounds like a heck of a deal. I'm in if you're in. I don't know. That's a lot of meat. Where am I going to put it? Well, we got an extra freezer. Jeannie curls up on it when she gets the hot flashes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Plumber Dave, looks like you sold yourself two sides of beef. Go oh, ahead. Ah. Oh, good. Oh, that's good, right? I think it'll work. <laughs> Rodney, are you sure about this? We're committing to an awful lot of beef here. Baby. You committed to a lot of beef when you married me. <laughs> Look, honey, we're saving money. And by this way, we're going to have so much cheap meat, you're going to be able to use a T-bone as a fly swatter. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to carry some hamburger meat in my pocket just because I can. <laughs> meat man, anybody home? He must have come around the back. That's him, Barry. Prepare to meet your meat. <laughs> well, why don't you make a salad? And then we'll fire up the grill. Yeah. Homer, <laughs> Dave, what the hell is this? Well, it's your two sides of beef. <laughs> Listen, I, I don't mean to tell you your business, but I think she'd feel a little better in her final hours if you put down the bag of charcoal. thought we were buying two sides of beef. And here they are. Oh, you can keep the head and ass, no extra charge. <laughs> All you have to do is divide her up. <laughs> this is not funny, Trina. Sorry. 